Hello, my name is Glenn Hall. Today is February 22nd, 2024. This is going to be a continuation of my last um, video that I did, Where is My Maker? What I want to do now is go fully into the passage that uh, Paul wrote. And uh, this is in Romans chapter 10, starting at verse 5. For Moses writes about the righteousness that is based on the law, that the person who does the commandments shall live by them. But the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will ascend into heaven? That is to bring Christ down. I spent a lot of the last video talking about that, but let's go on now. Verse 7. Or, do not say... The, the righteousness based on faith says, Do not say in your heart, Who will descend into the abyss? That is to bring Christ up from the dead. But what does it say? The word is near you. It's in your mouth and in your heart. That is the word of faith that we proclaim. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses. That means to speak the same thing as, and is saved. See, we have to speak the same thing as Jesus does, or we're not confessing Jesus. So we can say the name of Jesus, and then confess something totally different, live something totally different out of our hearts. And that is to deny Christ. So you have Antichrist living in some who say they're serving Christ. They do not confess Christ. They, don't, they do not speak the same thing as Christ. And that's how you know who they are. For the scripture says, everyone who believes in him will not be put to shame. For there is no distinction between Jew and Greek. In other words, there's no distinctions, anybody. Stop getting into the all of the you're that, they're that, he's that, she's that. Get out of that. That's what Paul is saying here. Quit thinking that way. For... It's the same Lord, and he is Lord of all, bestowing his riches on all who call on him. For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So that's Romans 10, verses 5 through 11, that, or 13, that the Lord brought my attention to as I was reading through Job. So, in Job 35, verse 10, Elihu tells Job the correct question is to ask, Where is God my maker? That's what we need to know. Where is God my maker? So we talked about the first part uh, of that one verse that was quoted in uh, Romans. Now we're going to go to the second part. Second, the righteousness based on faith does not say, Who will descend into the abyss? Who will ascend into the abyss? Or, I'm sorry, descend into the abyss. The abyss represents the deep waters of man's thoughts, where Satan dwells, the place of darkness and death. To do this, to descend into the abyss, would be like bringing Christ up from the dead, like forcing his resurrection, like forcing God's hand to glorify his kodeshim. So then Elihu argues, do not try to force God to do anything. Instead, ask him where he is in all of this. Seek his face. Seek his being. Seek his word, especially his word for you in your very, very serious situation. We are all in a very, very, very serious situation. Seek God's face. Be humble. Thus Paul says, and this is Romans 10.8. The righteousness based on faith says, The word is near you. The word is near you. The word. Who is the word? In the beginning was the word, and the word was God. Jesus. Jesus is the word. The word is in your mouth. The word is in your heart. This is the word of faith that I, Paul, proclaim. Moses spoke this word in Deuteronomy 30, verses 11 to 14. This word, this word is the gospel of Jesus Christ.
that it was spoken by Elihu in the book of Job. So we see that Job's sins culminate in stumbling over the stumbling stone, Jesus. No one reaches eternal life who tries to do so any other way. <clears throat> Without Christ, we forever remain outside of God's city, which is New Jerusalem. So in Job chapter 36, which is where we have come to now, Elihu preaches the gospel of God. Listen to this. Spiritual knowledge comes directly from God, not from our carnal man, Elihu says in Job 36.3. Now, I'm not going to read the rest of the verses from now on, but I'm going to be going through chapter 36 with the things that Elihu says. First, Ascribe righteousness, he says, to our God, our Father, not to ourselves. If God were not righteous, he couldn't even govern the earth. Elihu seeks truth and perfect knowledge. Perfect knowledge from one who is with you. When I read that again this afternoon, <clears throat> Job 36, 4. Let's just go read that. I mean, this is just amazing. In fact, just let me just start by reading the first four verses. Elihu continued and said, Bear with me a little, and I'll show you. For I have yet something to say on God's behalf. I will get my knowledge from afar. And I will ascribe righteousness to my maker. For truly, my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. What? One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. What is Elihu saying? One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. Father, we so don't understand. 47 years ago, you spoke to me and told me that you wrote the Bible. Today, as I was reading through Job, you told me, truly, my words are not false. One who is perfect in knowledge is with you. That's you. You are perfect in knowledge. Your words are not false. You are the way the truth and the life. Your words are true and we have rejected you and we repent for rejecting you. We believe in you for you are the way, the truth and the life and no one comes to the Father except through you. Job had rejected the gospel the Antichrist rejects the gospel because he stands in the place of Christ. Lord, we do not reject. We do not reject the gospel. We need you to come and save us because it's over. The world is destroyed and you are our only hope. Come, Lord Jesus. Come, and everyone who agrees with me say, Come, Lord Jesus. Come, Lord Jesus, come and save this earth. You are our only hope. You are our only hope. And we repent for having stood in your place. We repent for having done evil. 
We repent for having made idols of ourselves. We repent of our pride and our arrogance. As a, as one man, as the people of this earth that you created, we come before you and we pray this prayer in the holy, holy name of Jesus who died for our sins. Come, Lord Jesus, because there is no other hope. Amen. <laughs>